back of the workbench again with the TRX4. Uh, again, we're doing, I'm running a series on this, so just keep tuned. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to attach a few uh, fixtures to the front. These things here. We're going to attach these. I've got two of those, which is the checker plate. I'm going to put them on, we're going to drill them and get them mounted up. So there's two of those, and there's also, I don't know what you can see there, but there's the inserts. Obviously, these are just uh, a sticker. I'll take these off. They're the aluminium inserts for the snow, so it stops the snow getting through. Uh, and these are from uh, grcracing.com. Yeah. I will leave the link in the description below. So I've got two of those to go on. There's all the fittings, screws. And it comes with some M3 stickers. But I don't think I'll use that because I'll probably raise it up a little bit. I want it nice and flat. So there's there, them going to go on. Uh, and there's the other one that. These things are really fragile. But they do look uh, great. What I'm going to do in the next video after this one is uh, I've got some clamps to go on. I haven't got the cabling yet. These things are going to get mounted to the front of the check plate. These shackles. And I want to mount on this side, one that side. So I've got like four of them. Yeah, there's the fittings. So that's going to get mounted something like that with a cable running up and the cable I'm going to use to do it is this stuff here which is off something else I don't know where I got this I found it somewhere but it's a really soft cable uh, it's a bit like the stuff you buy what you get on these shackles but it's a lot it's fine and softer it seems to be a lot more pliable so that's what I'm going to use or these uh, tree deflectors or whatever you want to call them. So that's coming up next. I might link it on if I've got time. I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, so we'll, we'll crack on with this. Just before we go on we'll have a little look at the, the Traxxas. You can see I've got a winch on. It's all nice and neat. Working really good. Uh, I've also put some mirrors in. A couple of stickers on. A few little things. I've got some steel uh, like mesh to come on which one's bolting on and then I'm going to bolt these things like these jacks onto the side some tools I'm actually 3D going to print a canoe out to go on the top uh, now I did start the canoe that is there but I think for some reason it's, it seems too big uh, oh, it's a 110 uh, size but I think it looks too big but I'll have to like I'll have to look into that there's the other part of it and there's the front if you want to glue it onto oh, of course I'm inside does that go under there no uh, don't know where that goes anyway obviously there's the front and uh, it's so big and it goes on but I need to do another one and need to print a few more out just to, to get it in because it was in three sections. I think it's a bit too wide it looks but looking at the size of a person uh, I need to, might need to squeeze it down a little bit and a bit, make it a bit narrower. So that's what I've done. I've also made the suspension a lot softer. Uh, so I'm running like a droop setup so when you put it on the ground it sits probably about there on suspension. I've just tinkered around with a bit of paint. Uh, I've touched these up, which I'm going to spend a lot of time on. I've had a little go at this. And I've also dotted the wheel rims. Uh, put a spare jerry can on, temporary, because I'm going to take this off and cut a, a fuel, uh, fuel filler cap in there. And I've just painted it a little bit, made a few scratches on it and things. Uh, so I'm going to weather it all, make it look a little bit more real. A little bit more nicer look and then you can see the winch uh, the winch mount are done okay so let's get into this uh, and I've got some more some more toys to go on the top really I think I'm waiting for a fire extinguisher 
to go on here. Uh, small jerry cans. These things are going to get painted with this type of red. Uh, I might have to mount a few things on. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. These are just 3D printed out. I need to paint them, sand them down, paint them. Little uh, toolbox I made. Uh, and some more straps and bits and bobs. Oh, excuse me. I've noticed I've got a, myself a stand now, so I can work a lot easier with a stand. It's fantastic. And if you're interested, that's the stand I got. This thing here. ZHT Hobby. ZHT ZHTC Hobbies. And on that side, there's just some markings on that. All I've done is I've just put some grease in uh, so, it's, so it spins around. What I am going to do is make myself a longer bolt so it's a bit higher uh, for when I'm working on it. I just find it a bit low, that's all. But it's a lot easier to. Yeah, I need to go that way a little bit. Urgh, about that. It's a lot easier just to turn, turn around and get sorted. Okay, now that's better. Right guys, so what we're going to do is, pop this out, I'm going to have to uh, cut these videos because I'm only doing this when I get five minutes time, I've got to pop back out, uh, so what I'll do then is I'll stop it and I'll just come back and then start over, and I'll just link it all in. As you can see, these things are like very thin, let's have a look. Talking. Oh, that's a surprise. These things are 0.3 millimeters. Very thin. Very thin. Uh, so they came slightly bent, but once they're bolted on, if you lift the snorkel up, it'll go underneath. I don't know whether to have it right in the corners, I think I'll use that as a gauge. There's a little line over here where the, where the bonnet or the hood comes down. We call it the bonnet, maybe it's called the hoods, I think. About there, I think that looks pretty nice. Yeah, and then get that drilled on, I'll just tape it. Uh, I think it looks better without the sticker because it'll be a bit raised up. And as you agree, I think that looks quite nice. Looks original. And also it's right on the edge where the bonnet is. I want to I want to mark these up. So I'm going to get myself uh, something, a scrape, I have to scrape all this out. And I'll put some dark paint in there, or dark, something dark to make it defined, same as the doors. Again, I've got the door hinges to do yet. And the door hinges and the door handles. And and then I'll also scrape all these out. I'll use a knife first and then, I don't know how I'm gonna do it really, but I'll do it. So these things are gonna be mounted like that. And then this one's gonna be mounted somewhere like that. I haven't maybe mind it where I like it yet, but that's where it's gone. And you've got your cable on. Somewhere in the middle of these, this quadrant here. Yeah, it looks alright, it's fine. With a bit of weathering on and a bit of paint, I think it'll look okay. Uh, certainly changes the look of it. So, uh, let me just open this and have a little look. Should rip that open. Uh, I need a pair of scissors. Cut this open. So, what have I got coming next then while I'm doing this? Quite a few things actually. I've got myself a Traxxas link coming, so I'm going to try that out so I can change all the settings uh, in the programming. Uh, looking at the controller, I've put me just velcroed the winch control on there. 
I just find it easy to get to. Straight there, and I'm going to put the the Traxxas. I mean, I'm, I've got like a I don't know. Uh, got myself an old phone. Anything really. I've got a few of these hanging around. Here's a Google phone. I'll probably just have that like that. Velcro it on. I just use it just for that rather than going here for anything else. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Just me, me other phone's a little bit bigger and that's a smaller one. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry about the mess. Everything's just uh, piling on. And also I found myself a bit of this mesh. Now this is another, another, uh, another video. I'm going to slice through here. All the way through. So you've got like an end cap. Put some of this on. Glue this back, cut it out, and it'll, uh, it'll be like a cover. And then I also found myself a little plastic cover, which I'm going to place over the these wires. So that. So guys, there's them. There's the screws. Don't need that. Don't need that. If you are interested. Just go on to grcracing.com and it says Traxxas there, GRX, TX4. Don't need that no more. So I'll keep these together so I don't get mixed up. And then just, I'll just open one. Ah, do you know what? These tiny little bags, okay, on the back side. Assuming your fingers don't work. Okay, there you go. See that? It's flat, so it's not. Doesn't drop. Ah, doesn't drop down, but I don't think it does anyway. I can't feel that. No. So take it goes that way. I think. I would have to be that one. I think it goes so underneath. Like that, or does it go on the top? Like that. Oh dear. So I don't know which way it goes. Does it go that way? Oh, it looks definitely better that way. There is like a little indentation. Now it definitely goes underneath. So it goes, does that type of thing with the bolt? I think that looks fine. It's ah. You do have to use, I think you do have to use that because it's going to be set up. So you do have to use the stickers. Okay. And I'm going to have to peel these off. Uh, and I might put myself just a little bit of, I don't know, something dark under there to stop seeing the red through. I don't want to cut the bodywork, I don't see the sense in cutting the bodywork when I can just put a bit of maybe this tape or a bit of black tape underneath don't really want to see under there so that's them and that's that so first thing I'm going to do uh, I'm going to get this stuck on and then I'm going to get it marked up and drilled okay hey right, guys uh, as you can see, I've just put that on with some cellar tape, some electrical tape to hold it down, and the original sticker I've cut, cut around it. That's the original sticker. I've done the same on that side because it was repositioned a little bit higher up. So I've just cut that out. And the only reason I'm leaving them on is because it's a bit darker, and I thought if I use black tape. It's a bit grey and you can, it looks a little bit nicer. So this side, what I need to do is pop this under here, put that over there. You've got this front bumper head line here. So you can, I'm pushing it right up against as far as I can this way. In fact, there's a little gap there on that one. Uh, I'm just looking at this front so I get the right gap. That's good enough. Yeah, 
happy with that. Tiny little gap there, yeah, that looks good. So I'm just holding it there and then, as you can see, it's a bit dark under there. So when I do come to put these on, like so, I think you'll agree, it looks quite nice. Some people put them underneath. I think I quite like that silver line running around. That's where I'm going to put it. In fact, I might move this a bit further out, just a tad. I need to be right about that. That's good enough. I'm just trying to get this gap here, same as that. And the top bit, I'll do that later. Put that away, nice and safe. The top part looks okay. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. So that looks about about right. I'm happy with that. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to get my drill. I'm going to drill a few holes. Just put my drill in. See if I So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I don't really need the tape on, so I can just take that off, take the body off, and we'll look at the fittings. Now these are bolts. Let's have a look. Yeah, they all look the same size, so mix them up shouldn't really make any difference. So the nuts and bolts. Yeah, they all look the same, so I don't think it makes any difference which one you use. So the tricky part, I'll probably have to take these fenders off. Obviously the fenders come round, so I'll have to pop these off. Uh, and then we'll get the bolts in, and then I'll, once they're off I'll drill the rest. Uh, now I don't need the tape then. So if we take the tape off now.
that one needs to be drilled back out again. This is why I wanted to nip it up with four bolts because some of them aren't pulling. As soon as you get the all in, the other one, I didn't want to drill all of them together. Uh, so that's three in. Is that good? that what I've done is I bolted these on so they're all bolted on okay uh, and I've also put the caps on the snow covers and it, it, you can't see about shooting a little video or later on it looks dark underneath so obviously I didn't want to cut it out because you're going to see the you might see the wheel arches and things like that in fact you see the bottom of the wheel arch so you could do that but uh, I think that looks better Looks fine anyway. Looks really nice. It's all bolted up okay. Uh, I've only put two bolts in these. There's a reason for that. If I said to anybody out there who's watching now, what do you think this was made from? Yeah, they're going to say either stainless steel or aluminium. Yeah. Now, it was what's supposed to be a two minutes job. It took me an hour and a half to drill four holes. So, what I've came to the conclusion is this is not aluminium and it's definitely not stainless steel. Uh, uh, get that magnet off there. It's strong. It's definitely not stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, titanium. And the reason why I think it's titanium is because I couldn't drill the bloody thing. I use normal drills. And we use the these are titanium coated drills, and these just were just weren't even touching it. And the brand new drills, and I've got different ones. I've tried different ones, so it's not as if one was a bad one because these are small, and one was a bit blunt. I've tried different ones out of the packet, and I've dr and I drilled a piece of steel with this. No bother, straight through like butter. Uh, so I had to use break into these diamond drills I was keeping, which I just actually I got this with. There you go. So that's a diamond drill. So I've had to use diamond drills to actually really get through this stuff. It's the only thing that would touch it and this thing was getting quite hot. Uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see. Yeah, so I've had to use diamond drills because uh, it's the only thing that was going to get through. Do I see that? Yeah. So, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, it was a bloody nightmare and I couldn't drill anymore and the dust coming off it is tiny, very fine dust. I mean, it might be something else, but they're not, definitely not aluminium. Uh, and I, it's, I don't think it's stainless steel because you can mark it. It's, it's weird. Uh, it's only like 0.3 millimetres thick. Uh, and I can drill through stuff stainless with that, no problem. So it's got to be titanium. Might be wrong, don't know. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get, so I've got two more balls to go in. It's going to look stupid if I don't 
do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut the heads off, drop the heads in, and I'll just glue them final two in. I know it's a bit of a bodge, but these things are solid. I mean, you could you you can rip that off. You'd actually bend all the plastic, so it's not structurally. It's just for looks. Uh, but this looks all really nice, guys. So I just thought I'd share that. If anyone's got any other uh, answers to why I've got to use diamond drills to even mark this thing, I use a normal drill. I just wasn't even scoring it. Uh, could be alien technology. I don't know. Might, might be something like that. Might need to use a laser to get through it. But any any, any suggestions? Let me know why. Cause I I'd love to know what it really is. Uh, and these are the only things what touch it, and they're only cheap ones. These ones, uh, sorry, these ones I bought differently from somewhere else. These ones seem to, and even the diamonds coming off at the end. Yeah, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut the heads off, glue them in, and then I've got the top one to do. Luckily, I'm only doing through plastic. Yay! That's going to be for them ones. Okay. Okay, alright, guys. Uh, Finally finished. Well, nearly finished. A little bit more to do, but uh, as you can see, I've got the plate on. It looks okay. Happy with the lock. Uh, it's it's bolted down really nice. There's no like warping. Got all the nuts on. The nuts on these little tiny ones with a pin in the backside. Uh, what I'd probably do now, uh, now if I was doing it again. I wouldn't put the nuts on, I would just get a bit of uh, hot glue and just dab the hot glue on. As long as you don't drill the holes too much, you're screwing into the body of this and it's fine. It ain't going to go nowhere. You've got like you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 odd screws plus the 4 yeah. Uh So I have put the bolt on these ones so this thing is bolted down. And as you can see, I've bolted the top on as well. I need to go around with a bit of red paint because it's chipped off when I tighten the bolts up. These things are solid. I haven't got the pins in so I can't. But there's no way that's going to go anywhere. The snow vents look nice. Even though they look a bit shiny. Uh, I think they look good. Looks okay. What I'm going to do on the next bit, I'm not going to do it in this video, although I might. I haven't made my mind up. Uh, the cable I'm going to use. Do we can see that one? Okay, let me just check the video. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Okay. The cable. I found some of this cable. It's like the winch cable on the front. It's a bit thinner, but it's that feels coarse. This feels really smooth. So it's a really high quality cable, and it folds really easy. I think it's actually got a plastic coat now, I think. Yeah, it has, yeah. I think it's got a plastic coat now. I think it's off a clock. Or some, some of where there was waste, but it's about four, five foot. Five feet of it. Uh, there's a bit of a bend there, but it's fine. So, and there's like a, there was just a feral end on like that. So I don't know, I can't remember where I got it off. But, that's the type of thing I was going to do. Yeah. So obviously I was going to bring it round, make a a loop, just like a strop, and then make an end to fit in to go under there. Uh, I've got these things here. Acts for soldering cables on there. Uh, but the smallest ones I've got are these ones here. If you can see that. And the outside diameter on the smallest ones I've got is 2.5. Yeah. And the internal diameter is 2, 2 millimeters. So this cable is oh, 1 millimeter. So there's not going to be much room. So once I pass it through there, I'll cut that in half, cut it in half because it looks a bit long, and then crimp it up in the vise, 
and then it should look quite nice then so I've got that I can use so. okay. right guys uh, nearly finished the video this is the last little bit uh, what I've done I've been away cut some cable I think I told you the cable I use I found some soft cable but it is branded uh, braided cable so I've cut that uh, and I made myself a little strop what I've done is got myself some of these sorry sorry about that got myself some of these things here if you can see these things are from Banggood and they're designed for just uh, joining cables and whatever you want to use them for. What I bought them for was for making the little ferrules on the end so you can pop your cables through. I cut it in half using just a little Dremel tool and then the, the, they're only copper so they're, they're coated in some sort of zinc or whatever they're coated in and so they're easy to cut and they just they crimp up really nice so that's that. And from Banggood six pound or something so what I've done uh, these needed gluing as well because the, the little thread is losing its uh, grip so I had to put a bit of Loctite on yeah just a tiny little bit of Loctite on there uh, just to get that finished off and I put some springs on they're not the right springs uh, that one is like that's a dark one I'm going to change these but that's all I had I had a look at my little box uh, so I think it looks okay doesn't look too bad so I'm quite pleased with it but I will change it later on I've got uh, I'll, say I'll change these out for some other way I did try and search on the internet for some turn buckles because I wanted to look like, a bit more realistic and I can't, can't find them that small uh, so these will have to do the job for now uh, but uh, as you agree, I think it looks okay. Uh, so I'm happy with this. Uh, I haven't done anything else really. <coughs> That's all I've done, just get this video finished. It's been a bit of a pain to get these drilled out. Uh, but it's worth it. I've got a light kit coming shortly. So I'll take all the wheel arches off again. And I think on the kit... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think on the kit you can change. You can have the main beam on, indicators. Uh, if, you, if you turn your steering, left indicator comes on and right and so on. Uh, I got. I picked one of these up. A little uh, ground anchor. There's two different. There's different ones, but I think these look okay. It's aluminium, anodized. I don't think it looks what it's supposed to be there's a one where it just looks like a shovel and it just digs in and i think i should have got that one really but i need to try that out uh, and find somewhere to put it so that's that's what i've done so far guys hope you, hope you like the look of it i'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see just a tad I'll just give it a little spin so you can see. In fact, I'll pick the camera up because sometimes it's easy to, to just show you from this angle. You can tell that the springs are not very good, uh, but it does just give a bit of tension. Yep. And it stops it from breaking anything, it would just pop off there. But this spring here is a lot better than, than that one. So this one is, if I had two of those, I would leave it. I like the way that oaks on. Seems fine. I might paint these as well. Paint these, I don't know. This has got a plastic coating on. I quite like the look of that. Uh, but I think you agree, it looks the part, it looks right. can't really argue with the, the look of it. I was a bit uh, worried about putting these in the top, whether it's going to look, but I, I don't know, you just tell me guys whether you think that looks okay or not. It might look, uh, might be totally wrong, but I've got a light bar coming. 
the light bars fits just in this gap probably about there to there so I need some suggestions what to do with this I'm not happy about that I'd like to change that if I could uh, so the next thing I think what we're going to do is I've got some uh, window mesh coming get that fitted on and then I can add some tools to the sides of it uh, but yeah it looks pretty cool I don't know if I need to tidy all this top up because it just looks a mess I need to paint these things and make a look I don't want to put too much on the top but I want it to look like uh, like it's it's going somewhere it's going across country and it's you're doing a lot of camping and trail and that type of stuff so I'm going to be carrying a tent uh, camping gear uh, gas cylinders I don't know loads of stuff you want to be carrying but I don't want to make it top heavy uh, I want to make it like as authentic as I can so yeah different angle there okay I might change this back tire put this on the front of the bonnet I haven't made my mind up yet. Some different stickers. Do uh, way you can see that. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's a close in look. And the winch is working spot on. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I was a bit worried about that the bump is going to be too pliable. But lifts this thing up no bother so I don't really want to add any more weight to the sh to make the shockers work any harder, the springs work any harder I want some weight low down here so I think I'll look into getting some extra weight low down on the wheels uh, possibly uh, maybe looking at putting some weight here by changing these I don't really want to change them because the, it's new but if I have to, I have to get this painted up, this uh, diff cover, make it look a little bit more realistic. And guess I get the light kit on next. Uh, and uh, just keep a check out for the videos, guys. So if you do, if you like this, uh, thumbs up, guys. Uh, hopefully you have. If you've got any suggestions, pop them in the comments below. I really do appreciate you guys listening and what and uh, the feedback been getting quite a lot of uh, interest of people asking me to do certain videos and uh, people want to see like what stuff I use what tools and things which I'll do that another time I haven't got a great deal of kit uh, just the basic stuff um, but yeah really appreciate it guys so thanks for watching that's for the TRX4 Land Rover Discovery 110